This is News 3 Sports. It's a busy night of high school sports, regional wrestling championships, and a full schedule of high school basketball on tap tonight. One of our stops tonight is in Murfreesboro. The Red Devils taking on Heron. Big game, and that's where we'll find our very own Kendra Sheehan. Kendra, I hear it's a special night there over at Murfreesboro. Hey, Jason. Yes, so I'm not by myself, as you can tell. I'm joined with two fantastic guests, former head coach Tom Ashman and former assistant coach Doug Woolard. They're here for the Hall of Fame event tonight. So today, Murfreesboro is going to be taking on Heron. Heron leads in the River to River Ohio Division. Murfreesboro tied for second. So this is a big game. But first, let's talk to our guests. So what is it like being back in Murfreesboro? Well, this is my hometown. I grew up in Murfreesboro, and it's always, I always have a very warm feeling when I return here, and especially into this gymnasium. And you're coming from Florida, so what is it like to be back here? I am, Kendra. I'm, I'm honored to be back. Uh, Tom Ashman gave me my first opportunity to get into athletics, and I was in it for like 44 years, in both coaching and in administration. So special for me to be back and help to honor Tom and this team. Now, not only is this an incredible ceremony, and the ceremony is actually tomorrow, so at halftime is just a formal introduction. What is it like to to see each other again? I know it's been a while. Well, it's, it's certainly a pleasant reunion. Uh, Doug and I have known each other for quite some time now. Uh, Doug was a great athlete at Carbondale High School. I was an athlete at Murfreesboro High School. And as you probably know, Carbondale and Murfreesboro have somewhat of a rivalry forever. And, and, and yet we, we wound up working together. So uh, it, it's always a pleasure for me to see Doug. And Doug, Doug really gave us a, a boost when we hired him here at Murfreesboro. What's it like to see Tom again after all this time? Well, as I said, you know, he was a mentor to me and gave me my first opportunity to, to uh, get in coaching. I coached for 13 years before I went into administration. And, you know, the, the work ethic that Tom had, and you could tell how much passion he had uh, around this game and around the players, it really gave me a great start. And one of the things I've noticed since only being here for a little bit is how strong of a backing the Murfreesboro community is. So what is it like to see this again after all those years? Well, I, you know, it is. And really, Tom was, you know, he's one of the first people inducted in the Hall of Fame. And so, you know, a lot of this, uh, I think, contributed, he contributed to and, and built something here that's really special. And how do you feel just being able to be back and seeing the same strong community connection here? You know, it's, it's amazing to me what high school athletics can do for a community and to a community. There's, there seems to be, when you have success, it bonds people. There's a, there's a bond that we have, and it brings people together. And, uh, you know, this team that we're going to honor, uh, the 1974 team that's going to be inducted, they brought this community together. There's a tremendous bond between those players and people in this community still today. And, and you know, I'm, I'm just so proud to be a part of what happened here 46 years ago. Well, I don't want to cut you off, but we are all out of time. So be sure to tune in at 10. We'll have highlights and a full recap from this Murfreesboro-Herring game. So for now, reporting from Murfreesboro, thank you, Tom. Thank you, Doug. Kendra Sheehan, News 3 Sports, back to you in the studio. Thank you. Great job. Special treat. What a wonderful treat that was. And a couple of great guys, too. Thank you, Jason. Stay with us. We'll be right back.